Dome of Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, let's talk a little bit of welterweight. Let's talk about one of my whatever guys. You know what I mean? You know what time it is. That could be Tyson Fury. That could be Adrian Broner. Or that could be this guy. Amir Khan. Amir Khan, you know, hey, destroyed Field and Greco in his first fight in about two years. You know, good lick, right? Next fight is going to be against Sammy Vargas, you know, top uh, uh, number 10, you know, um, a guy that, you know, this is okay. Okay fight for his second fight back. Um, so that's not a bad fight. You know, it's the second fight back. Let's not try to put him in right away with the, with the big guys and the big guns in the 147-pound division. Sammy Vargas, you know, is not a journeyman. He's decent. Nothing, nothing, you know, great about him. But this is about what we talk about, top 10. Okay, give him that. But um, here's where it gets tricky, right? His promoter, Mr. Eddie Hearn, I've been telling you about him. Be careful here. Mr. Eddie Hearn has, is requesting that this fight be a, a WBA. You heard that? You heard that sanction about it before? That this becomes a WBA official eliminator for their regular title. Regular title. Um, there, you probably don't want to do that right at the particular time that we're in right now if you are paying attention to what you're doing. If you have a conscience, you're probably not wanting to ask anything like that from the WBA right now who anybody who got some sense thinks that Eddie Hearn is affiliated with because of the anti Joshua Deontay Wilder situation and because of them coming in acting like Povetkin has to be fought so quick. There's no one who's naive and not understanding that. So I don't know why Eddie Hearn would be saying right now anything about the WBA. That you, you're Amir Khan fighting Sammy Vargas is a decent fight for a second fight back. But you don't want to be trying to make it into a WBA eliminator. Right? What are we going to do? We're going to skip over from numbers 9 to 2. Right, because Amir Khan coming back and not even fighting like the third. Get Amir Khan against number two, then maybe, but not Amir Khan against not number ten, and then that's the WBA eliminator. Let me just tell you, I've been telling you about Eddie Hearn. Um, you know, like I don't agree with him being the worst one ever promoter because he's getting fights and he's handling his business just young, and I think he's he's go, you know going overboard. You know, he's going to have to be stopped here soon. That's outlandish. Leave that alone, especially with the WBA. And because, of, you know, his negotiations that he was having with um, uh, Darian Chinko, Sergey Darian Chinko versus Danny Jacobs, who he manages, they have fell apart now. Why would that be? Look, Jacobs is by Eddie Hearn, and uh, Darian Chinko is by Lou DiBella, who has a big affiliation with who? Deontay Wilder. So when you're having those negotiations and people are – catching you in lies and you guys are not getting along because somebody's lying and this and that, you're not going to be able to sit at the table even though there's two other fighters because it's the same people at the table lying to each other. You see? So that's what I was talking about. Don't step on too many toes because it's going to keep coming back. So we won't want to go overboard here. You don't know, no, Amir Khan and, and your boy, Zami Vargas, should not be an uh, eliminator. Right, and then we we started because Eddie Hearn has a lot of fighters, so he's in the news a lot. So you got to think, you know, the Dillian White Kubat Pulev situation. Did a video about it. Put it in there. Don't look Kubat Pulev. Kubat Pulev was saying he's a manipulator, and that you know deals are signed, and he's in the in the um, press saying something else, and the deal is already signed. He's saying we're getting closer. That's Kubat Pulev. He's from Bulgaria. What is he a yank? You know, this these things are have to uh you know sooner or later. You're going to have to stop stepping on toes, right? Because these people are coming out. That's when those of them came out. You know, people are coming out saying, hey, you know, this guy is lying in the public. And it's getting to be more and more. You're going to have to slow this down. Now, I'm, 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 what I'm trying to say in England, you know, get them right quickly before, you know, things happen. Because right now, I'm pretty sure a lot of English feeling themselves when it was coming to boxing right now. Probably thinking we could do this ourselves. We're filling stadiums. That's cool. When you when you can, you know, <laughs> when you can, that's pretty cool. But when you must, then it's something different. Because nobody wants to deal with you. That's what's going to possibly happen. 
Listen, back to the point. Amir Khan versus your boy is not a, a emulator fight. Eddie Hearn shouldn't be requesting that. I don't think he should be saying anything loud about him asking the WBA anything right now. Because most people, 60-70% of people think he's probably paid them to do what they did with the Deontay Wilder and the Joshua situation. Which means he has to fight him before the deadline. If they would have paid, the fight would have happened on Friday and they come out the day after Deontay Wilder's team says that. Now, that leads any person to think that they, that was uh, scripted. Right? So and then two days later, you're still talking about you going over there talking to WBA about that being a con eliminator? The same sanctioning body where Lewis Ortiz is, is not there anymore because he was the mandatory for Anthony Joshua? That's too much affiliation. Right? Now, you would have to be a very, very, very optimistic person to not believe that right now. So slow up on that WBA stuff. And now Mir Khan fight, just let it be a fight, right? That eliminator, it will happen by himself. Plus, you don't need it. It's Amir Khan. Everybody wants to knock him out. You know what I mean? Because this fight, let's see, the, the fight, let's we'll talk about that for a second before I sign off. Amir Khan versus Sammy Vargas, boom. Neither one. Amir Khan beats Sammy Vargas. Why are you fighting somebody number 10? Sammy Vargas beats Amir Khan. Oh, man, it's a big win for Sammy Vargas, really. He would think. Sammy Vargas would be like, shoot, I just beat Amir Khan. Word, I'm going to get back up into the thing. Go out, you know, think he's going to get a free drink or two, right? I knocked out Amir Khan, shoot, free drink. Bartender got an attitude. Man, if you knocked out Amir Khan, you can get one free drink, you know. But I've been giving free drinks to these other dudes that did it already. Look at Danny Garcia, he over there almost drunk. Danny Garcia, yo, cheers, you know. Already getting two or three, four drinks, right? Canelo over there, you know, taking the bat out of the Burrito saying, hey, you know, I ain't, they don't clip it up, clip it all in this one. But cheers! Got three or four drinks, right? Then you got a dude over there, a little skinny tall dude over there, stumbling around in the whole place. Can't stand up no more because he got too many free drinks. And that's Prescott. Prescott can't even walk straight no more. He got so many free drinks because he's talking about, hey, you know, he's the original. He knocked him out when nobody was even, you know, the first one to knock Khan out. You know what I mean? So everybody get free drinks except Sammy Vargas. So it's not that big of a thing for him either. For his level, it would be, right? But for, you know, people would say after the fight, if Sammy were to knock Khan out, well, you know, stand in line with everybody else who did. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a good fight. It shouldn't be an eliminator. I don't even think we should go there. And I think Hearn should be careful here. Right? Because I personally don't think he's the worst promoter. I've seen the, I, no one. I mean, Oscar De La Hoya. The people of right now. Oscar De La Hoya. Right? And then the others. Aram. You know. Stuff like that. Don King. We go way back. Promoters can be slimy. You know. What you like to say? Scumbags or whatever. Some, pretty much sometimes their job. You know? So I don't see it like that. I mean, it's a lot of fights going on. Like him or lump him. Uh, at the end of the day, there's a whole lot of fights going on, but when you start stepping on toes and lying in public and having people uh, believe in falsehoods and stuff like that, you got to be careful because those are, at the end of the day, your colleagues that you're going to need, right? So that's what my point is here. So let's see what happens going forward. Uh, that was something I need to, tell, uh, to say about there's a Amir Khan, <laughs> Sammy Vargas fight. No, not an eliminator. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.